you guys. It is Sunday. Um, I'm at my parents' house until this Wednesday, so I have today, Monday, Tuesday, and then we leave Wednesday sometime, probably in the morning. So I guess three full days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yeah. Three full days, and we leave Sunday, or Wednesday morning. So we'll hopefully be editing today. Bye. Hello, I mean, they're getting pictures done. We never really got anything for our wedding or for our, our after wedding or engagement. So now we are here in this park to get photos. There's a bridge just up there. We'll be really going soon. Very nice dance. It's not too cold out, only minus 10 or something today. That's Celsius, not. Crappy Fahrenheit. It's Fahrenheit doesn't make sense to me. Celsius does. I suppose if you're American it would make sense to you, but anyway, goodbye. Back to society. Back to the... Whatever you call it. I think I broke Ali's nose. Hopefully not. But we're at the clinic. And then checked out and kicked her in the head when we were getting pictures done. What? Right? The fries were good. And my fries were good too. They already need to change their grease, so. So far this Christmas, we've had the pipes in our house burst and damaged some stuff, mostly our roommates, which is, it's really too bad. Um, and then also, uh, broke my wife's nose. How, you might ask? It's not your bad. How, you might ask? It's none of your damn business. But if you must know, I was doing a cartwheel while doing a photo shoot with her and I uh, kicked her in the head. So she's got a fracture, like just the tip of her nose, like right where the, you know, if you feel the soft spot, right where the hard spot, right where the hard spot starts on the tip there. Um, it's just a flake fracture. So it's not like really big, it's not really, it's gonna heal on its own, it'll be fine. Um, but I feel really bad, and it was bleeding, and it was not good. Um, yeah, now I forgot to give my dad back his Costco card when we went to buy groceries. So I am driving him, or driving it over to the store, literally just to drop it off. Also, I think I just see my friend. Is that Jeff? <clears throat> it's not Jeff. I hate parking lots. Please go or don't go. I don't care. Please move your freaking vehicle. I should show you what's going on here so you don't think I'm just an idiot. Where do I park? There's so many cars I don't know where to go. Should I be a singer? Oh my goodness, what is happening in this world? Yeah, that's what's happening. There is a person back in their Cadillac, no parking spot. I don't care if I park close. I don't even want to park close. I just want to park. I just want to spot. I'll tell them one more time. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Allie here. Don't know if you've met me before. Brian married me. So I just wanted to tell you the difference between driving in Alberta and driving in um, BC. In BC, you're taught pretty much right off the bat. You get in the car, put your seatbelt on, then you turn your lights on because, like, in winter conditions, you don't want to rear end your buddy. So it's just hard to see right now because there's so much blowing snow. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really icy, but you can't see it until you hit the brakes. And then you're like, oh my gosh, we're going to go off the road. But we're not going to. Because I have a beast of a car and a beast of a man.